Hey guys and welcome to another polymer clay tutorial. Today we will create the cannon card from Clash Royale. Before someone is wondering, of course, the balloon will be the next tutorial on my channel, we decided in the last poll, but I got so many requests and I read so many comments which said, please create the cannon card. I know that currently there's this challenge on Clash Royale, you get the new card, the cannon card. Um, and it depends on the wins you take in this challenge. I also tried it, but I think I failed because I didn't get any card of this. But so we, we have to wait some more days until the card is officially released. Before we jump in and talk about the creation, the clay creation, just some quick information about the cannon card itself. It has also been on Clash of Clans and this is the modification I did to this card. I will also create it with the rope, with the rope around the cannon for fixing something like that. I know this version is not the right version from the Clash Royale card, but I really liked the look and so we are creating the rope but you can also leave it out, of course. The cannon card has some kind of a special function while using in the game itself. When it is destroyed or when it gets too much damage, the wheels break um, or the, the whole cannon breaks down, but it still can shoot. So this is very, uh, very unique to this card. Okay. While creating some details, let's jump in, let's create the cannon card out of polymer clay. I am using this silver gray mix. Um, I would have taken just silver clay if I had some more left, but I haven't had any one. So I mixed this color by using just white, black and some silver. This will be the wood parts of the cannon card. As you can see, I also mix different kinds of browns and ochre. And don't mix too strong that you still have this nicely pattern inside. And after putting it onto the metal plate, I'm adding some more details with my scalpel. Okay, size comparison. And now we will create the rope I talked about earlier. This is the tiny modification so the original card from Clash Royale is without this rope. But as I already told you, I really like the look. Just wrap it around. And I'm even adding some more details to the rope itself. That it yeah, looks really nice. Just let me know what you think about it. Okay. Placing it onto the plates. And we will go on, we will now work on some more wooden planks around the whole card. Well, basically this is <laughs> the card. And as you can see, I didn't mix that strong to get these nice lines and patterns, which kind of sh should, should remember us to, to wood or the pattern of wood. Just putting the nails inside and also one wooden plank for the back side as well. Okay, now there are two more wooden planks at the sides and they are very thick and place them on the plate so you can start assembling the whole cart. Yeah, before I forget, thanks a lot for all the nice comments on the tutorial of Finn from Adventure Time. 
And for all of you who were frightened that I would stop creating Clash Royale or even Pokemon, no, of course not. I will continue both series as I like them a lot and I have so many more ideas and comments which I can create tutorials of, so don't be afraid that I would stop these series just because of the videos of Adventure Time. Um, I already told you there will be a total of three of three tutorials of Adventure Time and after that I'm looking forward to read some more suggest suggestions from you guys which mini-series could be next on my channel. Okay, this is the... What's, what's his name? The Lumberjack, of course. <laughs> um, yeah, check out this tutorial as well, if you haven't. If, I'm, uh, if my voice sounds a bit tired, well, it's pretty late here in Germany. Right now it's uh, 11 after 11 o'clock p.m. <laughs> but uh, while creating the cannon card, well, normally while creating, I think, okay, you, you can finish this one tomorrow. But the cannon card really got me. <laughs> I enjoyed the process of creating this creation a lot. So I decided Oh boy, you will finish this tutorial today, tonight. <laughs> I hope you don't mind when my voice is a bit tired. Yeah. <laughs> this will be the cannonball. I'm awake right now. And um, you can either take just a toothpick or I'm using this very thin wire. Just drill it and it is stable enough that it can hold the cannonball and after that we can stick it into some clay for oven hardening. Just adding some tiny dents, some details. I'm wondering if these cannonballs in ancient times were used many times or only one time. <laughs> they always look like as if they were used many times. Yeah, these splinters, well, they appear when the cannon explodes and they're flying around. Okay, I guess we are ready to go into the oven. Freshly baked grass and freshly baked cannonball and cannon cart <laughs> almost assembled. And this is what we will do right now, just checking this size. And now I'm taking my super glue and we will assemble the wheels to the cart. Also on the other side as well. And now we can place it onto the grass and we are almost finished. If you're wondering why there is no pole in this tutorial, well, the next pole for Clash Royale will be in the balloon tutorial. As this tutorial wasn't planned, I decided just yesterday. So the next pole where you can vote for next ideas and tutorials is coming pretty soon. Now we need some acrylic paint. If you have some, this is just some black for the cannon residue and also on the sides that it looks a bit old and after that just take some silver but not much just a tiny bit of acrylic paint of silver which gives it a great look as if the whole clay was out of some kind of metallic material okay just the last details with the paint and after that we will use our beloved wool just take some white wool and also a tiny bit of yellow and if you have a tiny bit of red red wool as well for the explosion 
we will stick it onto the wire and into the cannon just gluing it inside and after that we will we'll just put it inside a bit more putting some super glue onto the wool and we will glue some of the splinters around around the explosion and it really looks like as if time stopped while the cannon is shooting i love the end result please let me know what you think and finally i guess that's it I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial of the Canon card. I expect it to be way shorter, but here we go, 11 minutes just about the Canon card. There's one card which comes to my mind when I think about the Canon because of the Royal Giant. It's the Giant. Check out the tutorial if you haven't. Next tutorial will be coming on Friday or Saturday. It depends on how quick I'm building the balloon. <laughs> and well, I guess that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you on Friday or Saturday. Bye. <gasps> okay, give me that cannon and I'm the royal giant. Royal giant. Yeah!